¿Qué pasa chavales? Bienvenidos de nuevo a Minecraft Story Mode Estamos jugando en el episodio 2 que acaba de salir hoy recientemente Estamos jugando en PC Y voy a ver un salto de calidad referente a mi otro capítulo de este juego Como sabéis yo no hago series porque no, no lo suele ver la gente Pero me gusta mostraros un poquito de cada juego Así que en esta ocasión vamos a mostraros un poquito del episodio 2 Y vamos a darle a jugar Y a mí me va a pillar de nuevo como ustedes también Vamos a coger el mismo muñeco que... Con el que estábamos jugando en el episodio 1, ¿vale? Vamos a coger a este personaje. Pues me dice la orden de piedra, episodio 1. Y aquí le damos a la derecha y dice... Se requiere asamblea e inicio de episodio 2. Así que vamos a iniciar el episodio 2. Se requiere asamblea. Previously on Minecraft Story Mode. Heroes can come from unlikely beginnings. And broken friendships can lead to dark rivalries. When the world is in danger, fate calls on the ordinary to do extraordinary things. and go on journeys they had only dreamed of. Our heroes, thrown together by fate, must now seek help from a legendary inventor. But the question remains, will it be enough to save the world? train tracks running all through the nether, connecting all the different order members? And imagine the scaffolding you'd need to make all this. This is impressive. Thanks to these rails, we'll be there in no time. If we don't get the order back together, the Witherstorm is going to eat everything. We're going to get to Eligar to get her to help us, and we're going to save the world. I hope you're right. We definitely stand a better chance with Eligar's help. Uh, Jesse! <gasps> Let's go. I never doubted you for a second, but but that was incredible. Maybe we have a chance of getting to Eligard after all. Look, there's the sign. Redstonia. Redstonia, here we come. to meet the greatest redstone builders in the world. Wow. Who would have thought that someday I'd really get to visit Redstonia, Eligard's capital city of engineering. Incredible. Do you think Eligard will be willing, you know, to help us? Yeah. <clears throat>
much I value and adore each and every one of you. Your hard work inspires me every day. Jessie, there she is. I am about to enter my dome of concentration, where I will be unreachable for the foreseeable future. But I will emerge when I complete my latest and greatest creation, the command block. So please, continue working, continue building, and whichever person most impresses me, they shall be my protege. Ready to help usher in a new era of innovation and creativity. Calvin, throw the switch. Jesse, we need to get there before she totally locks herself in. Ah, uh, crap. <coughs> Excuse me, Mr. Calvin, was it? We need to speak to Eligard. It's urgent. Oh, I'm afraid that's quite impossible. Did you hear the speech? She's on lockdown until she completes her next great invention. But lucky for you, I'm here. How can I help you? I mean, I'm no Eligard. But I'm still pretty cool. Well, you need to take us to her. It's really, really important. No, uh, I'm afraid not. Look, I can tell you're not from around here. Level with me. Who are you? Why do you need to see Eligard? We don't do tours this time of year, I must tell you. The world is going to get eaten by a giant monster if you don't let us talk to Eligard. Hmm. You must admit that this all sounds a little outlandish. Jesse, show him the amulet. Look, this is Gabriel's amulet. It's how I got here. It's how I found Eligard in the first place. Oh my. Well, that is interesting. If you'd like, I could send that to Eligard. Maybe that would help your mission. Might not be a bad idea. Okay, sure, that would be great. If I'm not mistaken, that should go right to Eligard's private office. I might be wrong. Could be wrong. This place is pretty complicated. Speaking of which... I'm afraid I have many more things to attend to than answering all of your questions. I must go. Better just take this repeater and disable the stair controls. We don't want any troublemakers disturbing Eligard. Guess we'll need to get another repeater. Right. Notice you checking out my catapult, friend. It's got an easy to use lever right there. So feel free to fling a cow, or maybe you'd like to try it on your piggy there first. <gasps> oh, believe me, he'll love it. Okay, Reuben, it's time for a game of Super Pig. <laughs> Stone. Jackpot. That's a nice stone. Still warm. Hi there. What? what? Look, you're gonna have to speak up there. Oh, I just said hi. Much better. What can I do for you? You wanna see my TNT cannon? You say something? Can you get us in the dome? What? Can't hear ya! But if it's about getting into Eligard's dome, no can do. Sorry. Do you have a repeater I could use? Sorry. None of those to spare. 
How does your machine work? Still a work in progress. But eventually, it'll launch people high into the air so they can see for miles around. Cool, theoretically. I like you, sport. Here, have some redstone dust. Dust from a strange man. Cool. Cows don't exactly have a wide spectrum of emotion, so it's hard to tell if they're happy or traumatized. What do you think you're doing over there, pal? That's one of the key components of my uh, bovine lava disco. Hi. Hey, how's it going? How you doing? Uh, here to see the next great revolution in entertainment? It is pretty amazing. Definitely the sort of creation that Eligard's future protege might make, no? Need a hand with anything? That's mighty groovy of you to offer, uh, but I'm doing just fine, thanks. So long as that dunderhead sticks over there. I'm actually gonna keep on keeping on. Enjoy the dancing cows. Just stay away from that little uh, schoolboy, all right? He's never had an original idea in his life. Hey, hey, what's up? What's up? Here to see the best machine that's ever graced Redstonia's shores. Some people say I lack modesty. Tell me about this machine of yours. It's freaking huge. The mighty Mechmaster 9 million? Yeah, it's huge! It's bigger than huge. It's immense. Does it do anything other than be big? It walks. Think. But most importantly, it'll totally nab me the spot as Eligard's protege. But, but why am I telling you all this? I'm trying to become Eligard's protege over here, and you're probably all in cahoots with that disco weirdo over there. I'm pretty sure he just enjoys torturing cows. In real chatty with that disco friend of yours. What's he been telling you about me, huh? He's just jealous. Doesn't think I deserve to be Eligard's protege. Is this idea yours, like, 100%? Because he kind of says that you steal your ideas. All of them. That no good, dirty, ugh, disco freak! I've got a bone to pick with you! Steal all my ideas, huh? That's what you're telling people. Guess I just call them like I see them. Ooh, you are just... Ugh. My machine! Oh, my cows! Ah, oh, something's gone wrong with the clock circuit. Ah, uh, the lava isn't switching with the water. Oh, no, your amazing invention. You! You did this! Hey, I am not taking credit for any of this. That machine's been a cow death trap since block one. Oh, my cows! My poor cows! Hey, Disco Man! No sense crying over burned steaks. <laughs> it's funny that he's sad. And you, nicely done, you! This is hilarious. Well, bueno, chavales, we're just viendo un poquito la historia. Estamos aquí, tenemos que ir combinando objetos y. Para tratar de que nos dejen usar sus máquinas. Yo creo que la máquina que tenemos que usar es la catapulta esta del viejo, pero ahora mismo no está terminada. Así que nada, la cosa será ir buscando 
o hablando con diferentes personas para que al final nos deje usar yo creo que estas dos con estas dos máquinas podremos llegar arriba del todo así que nada vamos a dejar por aquí el gameplay ya sabéis que me gusta mostrarlo un poquito para que veáis cómo es y nada chavales pues deciros que está baratito en pc y en playstation 4 y nada más que lo pilléis si os gusta el tema de minecraft y un saludito nos vemos en el siguiente vídeo y adiós